Hey guys, Zach King here. Not with the Final Cut Pro tutorial today, but a motion tutorial. And I simply want to go over the interface, so if you guys are already pretty convenient and you can use motion okay, then you probably don't want to watch this. But if you want to cover the basics or uh, relearn some, some simple stuff, then this is for you. So this is the interface of motion after you get past the little welcome screen. And uh, this is motion 3 because I have now a camera and I can do some 3D 3D graphic stuff here which is pretty cool and uh, let's just go over the interface here basically we have our, our top bar here with the arrow and we have a bunch of different options if you hold that down and we'll go over all these tools and tools and details later um, and you also have your your 3D handle you got a, a grabber microscope uh, for your zooming and zooming out this is the walking through the camera uh, which our camera isn't enabled so we can't click that. You can uh, hold this down and get some lines, circles. Here I'm going to click a circle. There. And um, if you press the arrow again, you can delete. You can also, here let me go back to that and do a, a line. If you hold down shift, it can snap. And I'm going to do these in detail later. I'm just kind of showing you some stuff. And uh, you can change the color up here. This is your HUD. And if you click this eye here, then it pops up and pops out and gets out of your way and there it is. Um, I'm gonna get back to the arrow key from this cursor by hitting escape. A little short command there. I'm gonna delete that. Uh, up here you have, a, if I put something up here, if I paint, this is a painter. I feel like I'm, I'm being really sporadic here but uh, there's a lot to cover. Um, so I just painted and we're gonna go into this in detail too. This is a really neat thing that Motion has added tons of things you can do this. I'm not even going to get into it yet, but so now that I have something selected, I press escape and get back to my cursor. Um, to this I can add a behavior. And we're given a choice of tons of behaviors. Audio, uh, basic motion, tons of different things. We'll go into that. Filters, if I want to add a uh, let's, let's add a glow to this. Light rays. Bam. Nice. Then uh, we have make particles. That's pretty nice. I'm not even going to go to that. I'm going to undo that and not do that. Replicate. Make many of them. Maybe I only want a column of two and a row of three. Look at that design. I mean, there's so many possibilities here. Uh, again, your hood. File browser. Now, that's the same thing that was right over here on the left side. So that's just putting it away. Your library, again, It's you're just getting these tabs here in the inspector right there. Your project here. If you can, uh, you can get to that by hitting Command Four. Command Four is your project window. Your timing is down below. That is, I believe, Command Seven, right? Yeah. Command Four puts that away. So, bunch of things here. Let's. Uh, man, this is this is a lot of stuff we're going to cover here. But over in the inspector, for this object alone, we're given properties scale, um, opacity, blend modes, drop shadows, four corner cropping, and this is information overload I know. Behaviors, um, we don't have any, we didn't add any yet. Filters, none yet. Replicator, we did add, add one, so look at that. You can do all that. You have all this stuff. You can make it 3D. Now I'm going to come down to this this bottom buttons. We have a record button. This is the same thing as a keyframe. Um, recording keyframes. Um, these are just simple commands: play, backwards, scrolling, no sound. Here, let's. I'm going to show you keyframe really quick. So I'm going to press record. I put my my viewer um, guy in the front of this clip. I'm going to drag it over here, a little past halfway. And I'm going to move the, uh, let's see, what can I move? I'm going to move the size out there. So if I scroll back, I just recorded that. And that's a cool effect. That was simple. You saw me paint something easy, add a filter of a glow, and then keyframe it. Very simple, cool effect. And this is just just the beginning hitting the surface of motion so many amazing things uh... let me go back to the file browser 
I'm going to delete what we have here on the screen. So I have access to my my hard drives over here. I have my computer, uh, desktop, my documents. If I have a song I want in here, I can drag it in. If I want a picture, I can scroll through here and, and do that. Up here, I have my library. And this is this is the coolest thing. I love this about motion, the library. So cool. You can look at the behaviors and then let me zoom out there. If I'm going through here, I want a camera behavior and I click one, I want a dolly. It shows me up here in this little picture uh in this viewer, it shows me what the effect is. And they 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 preview every single effect and filter and generator and every piece of content they have on Motion 3 they show you in that little viewer which is very handy saves a lot of time uh, this list I don't know if I want to even go through today there's so many things you have replicators oh, we talked a little bit about shapes hey guys I'm just gonna let you heads up we're gonna be having a tutorial on the lightsaber I know you guys like those um, so there little preview um, let's see what else we got gradients tons of gradients and you can edit every single one of these if I drag it in here, um, well, I had to have an object. If I create a rectangle and drag this gradient in, go to the inspector, and I can simply edit all the colors I want. Let's say I want it to be pink in the middle or red. Tons of tons of options here. Just hitting the surface. Subscribe on YouTube as well, um, so you'll get the updates of when I add videos. So inbox me if you guys have any questions. I've been getting a lot of, of messages about. Um, different tutorials you have and questions you have. I can't answer all the questions, but I'll try to cover them in my tutorials. I'll see you guys later.